congratulations on, on getting married, man. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you very much. So it's, yeah, it's a different chapter in my life. Yeah, man. Uh, it must be a, a good chapter, though. Obviously, you know, it's, uh, it changes you as a, as a person. Um, and uh, from what I hear, it's uh, really been a positive uh, thing for you uh, from the articles I've been reading. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's always great um, to have an amazing woman by your side and in your life, man. And I just found the one that I believe is for me, man, you know. Like Beyonce said, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. So I did. <laughs> hey, I'm curious, man. Did, did you know right away, or, or how'd you know? I kind of did. It was awkward, man. You know, I just knew it was. It was just too many. It's like if you. It's like if you could just have that the pro and con list. Like I want. I want all these pros. You know. I need, I need all, I need all this needs to be checked off before I would marry a girl. Mm -hmm. She just filled up my checkbox, man. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's all that I, I could ever want. It's my true partner, man. I, I feel lucky to find such a person. Yeah. Cause I, I always hear people say like, Oh, I, I just knew right away. And I'm like, really? Like, how, how do you just know? And they're like, I can't explain it. I, I just, I just knew, I just knew. And I, I always wondered that cause obviously I'm, I'm not married, you know? So. It's a different, it's a different vibe. Like it's different than okay, like they're attractive, they're this, they're that. I mean, you just can't get a no. You can't even. You want to look for a no, and you can't find a no nowhere in your consciousness. Everything says yes. Every cell in your body says yes. That's when you know. Mm, that's interesting. Did um, what did you think about you being a boxer? Oh, uh, you know. She don't really like the fighting and everything, but um, <laughs> who does it, right? <laughs> but you know, when um, it was very funny because when the when the Danny Garcia fight was happening, um, she was she was going online watching him train, watching me train, watch his dad talk junk, and she'd call me and be like, "You need to you need to beat beat him up real bad." You need to beat him up. You need to, somebody needs to punch his daddy in the mouth. You know, she's saying all this stuff. I, I said, look, just calm down, calm down. Do me a favor and don't ever watch those videos ever again. You know, <laughs> I, I try to, I try to explain to her. People talk a lot of trash. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, his father, the father is talking. The son's the one that's going to be fighting. Danny's not really talking like that. Don't even worry about nothing. Then one day she called me and she's like, he was hitting the bag today and he looked really strong. And I go, I go, I go, yeah, he's a power puncher. You know, I said, don't worry. I'm a power puncher too. You know, I, I said, I know he's strong, but he's not going to hit me with those slow punches, you know? <laughs> so, so it was just, it was just funny because she got more into it. Uh, she was able to watch the fight with her family in Japan. They watched it on like some laptop somehow. I don't even know what they ended up doing. Somebody was tech savvy over there and they found a way to watch it um, live. And um, she said her family had a great time and they were, they were somewhere. They were almost like in a coffee shop or something. And other people were watching the fight too. And it is, it's just funny. You know, I, I love, I love meeting people, you know, obviously this is my wife, but I just love meeting people. And then after they've met me, how they how they'll watch the match and they'll be so drawn in because I know what it's like. Boxing is so much different when you're a spectator. Some people love the sport, but it's different if you're a spectator and you got to meet that athlete before their performance. So it's 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 different. It sounds like she's turning into a boxing fan. Like she's getting like uh, more and more into it. Oh yeah, you know um, that's that's what happens. You know, I mean she's. She knows who Errol Spence is now by reading the comments. She's like, she's like, who's Errol Spence Jr.? Who is he? You know? And I'm like, somebody said that he's going to knock you out. And I'm like, yeah, that's what some people are trying to say. You know, it's just funny, you know, um, because it's definitely a sport she's not uh, familiar with. Um, but, you know, her concern for her, for her man, you know, it's very genuine. 
And um, just like just like any one of my family members, but I told her, you know, I, I chose this career. I'm happy to be in the ring, win, lose, draw. This I'm, I'm doing what I love, you know, and um, and she understands that, so she supports me. That's very cool. Has she uh, seen any of your fights live yet? No. No, not yet. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, this next one that you uh, you'll get scheduled. Um, after you rehab the injury, how's that coming along? It's coming along great, actually. Um, it's feeling really good day by day. Um, I say that just because, you know, we just keep doing this rehab. And after rehab, lengthening it, stretching it, I mean, it just feels better and better. So what exactly did they so, do to the, uh, the elbow? They removed loose bodies. It was almost like a, a pitcher elbow problem. So like bone spurts in the elbow almost? Exactly. But see, what happens is bone spurs will um, they'll break off, right? Yeah. And, and sometimes if the bone spur breaks off, then it's just floating around in your joint. And that, and that term is called loose bodies, loose bodies. You know, it's, it's almost like having little rocks or pebbles or grains of sand inside your joint so that when you're trying to snap your elbow like I would at throwing a punch, there's a little rock in there that's hitting things, rubbing up and bust, busting stuff up, and it just creates a lot of inflammation, which everybody knows inflammation causes pain, and um, and obviously I wouldn't be able to deal with that um, fight you know, really past the Garcia fight. So we had to get the surgery. Yeah, I knew a uh, MMA fighter that had something very similar. His name was Mark Munoz. And uh, I remember him telling me that he couldn't even throw a... It got so bad that it got to a point where he couldn't even throw a punch. Like he couldn't extend his uh, his arm fully to do anything. And I remember he showed me a picture and he had just... They, they removed just a bunch of bone fragments and, and a bunch of junk... Uh, from his elbow, and it took him a while to recover. I remember that. Yes, um, the doctor even did tell me that there was more in there than he thought originally from the MRI. So, um, it's, and and the elbow isn't easy. Um, it's not a fast recovery, apparently. You know, I was frustrated when I heard it at first, but going through it, I understand now because, you know, apparently it really doesn't snap back. Um, there's not a lot of blood flow in the region. Um, it just doesn't heal like other places of the body, maybe like the knees or something else, the wrist, the hand, I don't know. The elbow just doesn't heal the same. So, but, uh, we will be back next year. So we're happy with that. You know, we're going to, we're going to defend our world titles and, uh, get back in the sport that I love. Man. Do you know, uh, around like, um, uh, when you should be good to go to like train again? Like, did they tell you like around what time? Yeah, we kind of know, but I'm not. I'm not gonna say nothing until next year. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna pick a date and we're gonna do an announcement. You know, but for right now, there's just nothing to really talk about. But uh, on track, though, you're not going crazy, not being able to train, or are you able to to train a little bit, but not really fully train? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm able to train, but I'm not hitting the heavy bag. I'm still not hitting the heavy bag. You know, I actually, I actually just got cleared to uh, start hitting the mitts if I feel like it. So that's nice. Oh man, that's perfect. You can get back into it now. Yeah, slowly but surely, man. That's why next year, you know, um, we're gonna we're gonna pick a date that we feel comfortable with, and we're gonna, you know, be ready to give you guys a great performance. You know what matters. What matters is when you come back as an athlete is that you come back strong. You know, you come back too soon and you don't come back strong and, and that can uh, shorten your career. You know, um, some people forget that this is my career and um, I worked really hard to be where I am today and, and I, and I want to maintain this for as long as I can. So, um, we're, you know, I got a good team. I got great doctors, so we feel confident.